A vast and infinite universe has always held secrets beyond our wildest imagination. For centuries, humanity has gazed into the cosmos, searching for answers to the most profound questions. How did it all begin? What lies beyond? And what is our fate among the stars? But now, a discovery has emerged that shakes the very foundation of modern cosmology. The latest observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have revealed something so unexpected, so baffling, that it's forced scientists to reconsider some of the most established ideas in physics and astronomy. A cosmic mystery, the unexplained disappearance of 900 trillion stars, has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Where have these stars gone? How could they vanish without a trace? The JWST, a $10 billion marvel of engineering and science, has been operational for over two years. In that short time, it has already delivered extraordinary insights into the nature of the universe. Its capabilities far surpass those of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, particularly in the infrared spectrum. Webb is able to see deeper into space, and thus further back in time, than ever before, detecting faint, redshifted light from the earliest galaxies. In July 2022, Webb began focusing on ultra-deep fields of space, targeting ancient galaxies billions of light-years away. It scanned long wavelengths of radiation, particularly red-shifted ultraviolet light that has traveled across the expanding fabric of space. What it found was astonishing. In specific regions of space, stars, once visible, were gone. Not dimmed. Not hidden. Gone. The light they emitted for billions of years seems to have vanished, leaving astronomers puzzled and deeply concerned. How could hundreds of trillions of stars simply disappear? Two leading theories have emerged. The first, more conservative explanation, suggests that the stars might still exist but have become invisible to our instruments. Perhaps they are obscured by cosmic dust or have collapsed into black holes in a manner that emitted little to no visible energy. It's also possible that the star's luminosity diminished below detectable levels due to previously unknown stellar processes. The second theory is more unsettling. It posits that we are witnessing the effects of a cosmic phenomenon beyond our control, one in which parts of the universe are becoming inaccessible due to the ever-accelerating expansion of space. If this is true, it could indicate that the structure of the universe itself is transforming, and we are witnessing entire regions fade beyond our observational horizon. To understand this better, we must return to a century-old idea, the expansion of the universe. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies appear to be moving away from us, implying that the universe is expanding. But this doesn't mean galaxies are physically racing through space. Instead, the fabric of space itself is stretching, causing everything within it to move apart. Light from distant galaxies travels through this expanding medium, and as a result, its wavelength stretches, becoming redder, a phenomenon known as redshift. Initially, scientists believed this expansion might slow down over time due to gravity. But in 1998, a stunning discovery revealed that the expansion is not slowing, it's accelerating. Something, some mysterious force, was pushing the universe apart faster and faster. We named it dark energy, a term that captures our ignorance more than our understanding. Today, we know that dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe. Dark matter accounts for another 27%, and the matter we can actually see, stars, planets, gas, constitutes a mere 4.9%. So, what does this have to do with vanishing stars? As the universe continues to expand at an accelerating rate, galaxies are moving away from us faster and faster. If they move beyond a certain distance, known as the cosmic event horizon, light emitted from them, even at the speed of light, will never reach us. They are effectively lost to the visible universe. This cosmic drift doesn't just mean stars appear dimmer, it means they eventually vanish from detectability altogether. To visualize this, consider a galaxy whose light took 10 billion years to reach us. During that time, space has expanded so dramatically that the galaxy is now much farther than 10 billion light years away. It may have reached a distance where even its future light will never reach us again. 
What Webb may be detecting isn't the destruction of stars, but rather the reality of a universe that's outpacing our ability to observe it. And the numbers are staggering. Our observable universe is about 46 billion light years in radius. Yet scientists now estimate that only 6% of the galaxies in the universe are still reachable by light. That means 94% of all galaxies are beyond the threshold where their light can ever reach us again, no matter how long we wait. And with every passing second, an estimated 20,000 to 60,000 stars become unreachable. Their past light may still arrive, but their present and future are forever lost to us. It's as though we're in a darkened room, watching distant candles wink out one by one. Not because they're being blown out, but because they're being moved farther away into a fog we can never see through. This isn't just a poetic concept. It has profound scientific implications. By studying redshifts, luminosities, and spatial distributions, astronomers can reconstruct the history of cosmic expansion and use it to predict the fate of the universe. If dark energy continues its relentless dominance, we are headed toward a scenario where every galaxy not gravitationally bound to us, such as those outside our local group, will vanish beyond our reach. Our local group includes the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and about 60 smaller satellite galaxies. These are the only celestial systems that will remain gravitationally tethered to us. Everything else, millions of galaxies, star systems, clusters, will drift into cosmic isolation. Communication across vast distances will cease. Even if we develop technologies that allow us to travel near the speed of light, it will not be enough. The fabric of space will always expand faster. And that brings us back to the haunting idea behind the 900 trillion missing stars. It's not that they were destroyed. It's that we may be watching, in real time, as parts of the universe slide into darkness, unreachable and unknowable. This knowledge forces us to grapple with our place in the cosmos. We are living at a unique moment in cosmic history. One where we can still observe much of the universe, but for only a fleeting window. As time progresses, our cosmic visibility will shrink. The galaxies we can see today may not be visible to future generations. In a billion years, even the cosmic background radiation, the faint echo of the Big Bang, may become undetectable. From a more hopeful perspective, this moment also highlights the urgency and importance of exploration. Every second counts. Every observation matters. The more we learn now, the more we preserve for the future. If humanity ever hopes to explore beyond our galactic neighborhood, the time is now. So what does the future hold? It's impossible to say for certain. Perhaps our understanding of dark energy will deepen. Perhaps new physics will emerge that changes the game. But for now, the evidence points to a universe that is expanding beyond our grasp, and a future where isolation, not connection, becomes the cosmic norm. We are left with the unsettling truth that most of the universe is already lost to us, not because we weren't looking, but because the rules of the cosmos are unforgiving. And yet, that same truth makes every image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope all the more profound. Each observation is a message from the fading edge of the cosmos, a final glimpse before the stars go silent.